Hi, it's Vanessa Ugetti, the True Worth Expert here, and today I'm going to talk to you about mates' rates. Now, I could have just created a video that said, don't do it, but I didn't think that would be very fair to you. Because what I want you to be able to do is to emotionally connect with the reasons why it's not good for you, but it's also not good for your clients either, something which you probably haven't thought about before. So in order to do this, first of all, I need to be able to define what we mean by mates rates. And that in itself is an interesting question. Because in my research, talking to people, I first of all found out that this is a really commonplace thing that people do. And secondly, I discovered that mates rates has a very broad def definition. So clearly it's about friends and family. But it seems to extend beyond that to acquaintances and also people that know people through networking. And surely networking is supposed to be all about doing business, but not at lower rates. And the second thing is, how much do you charge for a mate's rate? Do you discount it by 10%, 20%, 30%? How much? So you're going to be spending time having to work that out. So that in itself is a challenge. And some months ago, I took on a client and she had somebody that she'd given mates rates to, who happened to be somebody that she did know through networking. So it wasn't really a mate to start out with. And although all was well at first, apart from the fact that she wasn't charging enough, sometime later on there were problems with bills being paid and she was not getting paid. And she was also being disturbed by messages being sent at all times of the day and night through various communication means. So it was taking an awful lot of her time. And you can imagine that it built up. Fortunately, after I worked with her, she stopped doing all of that and she did get all her money back. But that's a very, very good story as to why you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. So what are the disadvantages? Well, the disadvantages for you as the provider are obvious. You're spending as much time and possibly even more time if it's a close family member or a close friend because you want to make sure they're really, really happy. Um, and secondly, you're obviously not being paid what you should for the time you're spending. But there's another thing that's equally important to consider. What happens if something goes wrong? Oh my goodness. Now, if your mate has not paid the full fee and they know they haven't, then they may be really uncomfortable about saying that something has gone wrong and they're not happy with it. And so that creates a problem, uh, not just in terms of the business you're doing, but potentially with your relationship. And also, if you have difficulties with them paying you or not paying you, then it's also a challenge. So I would say if you are going to do business with people that you define as mates, number one, do not give mates rates. Number two, make sure that your communication with them is very clear about how you operate when you're doing business. It's a business transaction. Do not allow the lines to be blurred between friendship and business. You know the old adage which says, don't mix business with pleasure? Well, it's certainly true when it comes to mates rates. So I hope you found that useful and interesting. And if you did, please share, like and comment. And also, if you need any more information, please feel free to get in touch with me. So that's Vanessa Ugatti, the True Worth Expert, saying bye for now.